What is up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is The Auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself from games I've never played or heard about. Today I'm doing a PayPal request for Jacob and Christian. Yakuza 0, two dragons. It's been a while since I've done Yakuza and I don't remember if I've done zero. I think I have done zero. I can't remember everything, I'm sorry. I've done a handful of Yakuza's, but zero seems to be quite popular. Uh, okay, well, I don't know much about this game, but, but, I did see a friend of mine play through Yakuza 5 a little bit, uh, pretty much on mute the whole time, but I did note, I get to, I got to see what the game kind of looks like finally, and it's not what I expected the game to look like, to be totally honest, it was more of like a sandbox kind of GTA look with a bunch of mini games. that's kind of what I got from it, but it, it seemed like it was like really immersive, a lot of random stuff you can do like baseball and all this whatever i was expecting more of like um i forgot what do you guys remember like on ps2 or 3 there was like a jackie chan game maybe i'm thinking of something else i don't know it was jet lee i don't remember but i was thinking something like that more i don't know martial arts anyways yakuza zero two dragons this is a huge request by the way this has two million views on it no big deal, but I do love Yakuza music, so let's go. Are we gonna rock out? Look at these outfits, by the way. These guys are f swagging. Oh, it just started right away. Okay, they're definitely riding that groove right now. Which makes this feel like a long sequence. Two guitars. Two dragons, two guitars. Ooh, I wonder if those two guitars have to do with each individual dragon in question. Or if it's just the name of the song. That guitar is crunchy. What a sick signal on the guitar. So much groove and rhythm in this. It's all palm muting. Just moving the cord. Oh, I thought we were taking a break, but apparently not. <laughs> yeah, because it's so sick. The music. Ooh, the lead tone.
such a big like arena sound. ending was sick i think the ending was the best part no i'm kidding the whole thing was amazing damn yakuza is so at least zero has such a distinctive sound like the only way i can describe it is I, I know when it's a yakuza guitar line because the way they mix their guitars is so crazy like it's distorted clearly but it has this kind of like interesting signal chain of just effects uh some of it kind of sounds like borderline flanger and muff I, I don't know it's hard it also kind of sounds like a synthesizer as well even though there are synthesizers but it, I, don't, I can't explain it. it just sounds like a really bizarre guitar signal um at least the 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 kind of lead parts the rhythm parts are just straight guitar dun 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 that's just chugging away the palm mutes the palm mutes but I'm, I'm really happy to see that the, the art of groove and rhythm is not gone because, I don't know, like, it, the song was pretty simple, right? It's just the drummer wasn't, just, they were just carrying the beat, just kind of chugling along the song, but it was everything else that was so much of a, a standpoint, the, the bass, the guitars, of course. I didn't realize it was so guitar-centric. And I'm over here kind of like geeking out because it was just so much of it. But I noticed this this one in particular, from what I re recall of the other ones, this one stood out a little more than the others because it had a kind of more genres mixed in there. Like this one had strings that I don't recall hearing in Yakuza, maybe? It's been a while. But you know, I had the, the whole string section that was kind of following what the rhythm guitar was doing. Uh, they also had like metal with the guitars and then kind of like a little bit of EDM in there too with the uh, the synths and I think it was, I always confuse these, it's either a talk box or a vocoder, but it's that one part where it's like, wow, sounds just like that. You know, all these little elements all over the place was just kind of, um, it's beautiful. <laughs> of course, you cannot talk about the song without the... Um, the, the ripping the lead guitar solo, which is so cool because it's used in this case more like an actual song where it was like, you know, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, and then towards the end, a grand climaxing guitar solo that is like all the ingredients, right? The reverb is cranked, the delay is cranked. It's really big and like a lead, you know, that's why it sounded like an arena to me. Uh, very full sound to it. Kind of reminded me of stuff like uh, like Steve Vai or Joe Satriani or any of those guys. But the only thing that kept going through my mind over and over throughout this whole song was uh, movie. Like every time I think of Yakuza, I think of like the movies and like all those kung fu films, um, all those all those things. Uh, Jet Li, Jackie Chan. I think of like Rush Hour. I think of just anything that has that style because it has kind of like a movie type feel but just way cooler like if movie soundtracks sounded like this movies would sell out <laughs> but they don't do it they don't they don't explore too much they like in video games you can explore and that's why i love vgm i've been listening to this stuff since i was a kid and i've always said that it kind of stands out as its own medium of creation and artistic you know abilities like you know where are we going to hear that kind of stuff and then towards the end, I guess I'll talk about that too. I, ha I wonder if that is connected to what we just experienced. I don't know when this plays. I don't know what Two Dragons means. But, you know, there was a, I guess, like a music box type of thing at the end. Which, in my vision, would suggest maybe a... I guess, a loss. Or some traumatic event. Maybe some... 
Well, when I think of music box, I honestly think of like, uh, like, like a child or something, you know. That's kind of the only time we hear music boxes as, as kids or like uh, putting a baby to sleep, something like that. So I don't know where that would fit in here. And I don't know what two dragons means. But the only thing that I remember saying was that maybe the dueling guitars at the beginning had to do with like the two personalities in question here. If that's the case, it could just be like a sim like symbolism, you know, two dragons, I don't know. This is what happens when you don't have context. I'm, what I'm trying to do this time is usually I have zero context, but this time I'm trying to think of the, the gameplay that I've seen from the, the other one and just kind of trying to make a scenario off of what I heard and what I've seen in the past which is mostly just running around a city and beating up random people. <laughs> but I know it has this like, you know, story elements. And yeah, it's pretty good. I'm going to assume that Yakuza 0 is... Oh god, maybe I shouldn't assume. But my brain tells me that 0 means the beginning. So maybe this is the, the first canonical one? Yeah, I, I don't know. Anyways, song was dope. It reminds me a lot of the first time I heard Yakuza, which was Kuz's theme. It reminded me of this sort of same idea of the kind of heaviness and electronic sounds. And the, the guitar sounds so sick in this in this game. It also reminded me of Lost Judgment, which I put in my top ten. <laughs> so Yakuza is no joke. I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna play these games. To be totally honest. Um, just as a side note, uh, since I have seen a little bit of the gameplay, uh, it just doesn't look like something I would try. But that's not set in stone. I'm just saying my first initial gut re reaction is, eh, maybe I'd rather just enjoy the music and watch maybe others play or something. But I've said that before in the past, and then games turn out to be like, they take over my life, and, you know, games I never thought I would play, like Final Fantasy. And then, you know, I played that non-stop and near, so... Yeah, maybe I should just shut up. <laughs> but anyways, cool. Two dragons, Yakuza 0. I don't know who composed... I don't know anything about the composers of Yakuza. I don't know if it's the same one that's stayed, or if this one has a special one. But this one sounds... Zero sounds kind of like its own thing. It sounds very new and modern. Maybe that's just the instruments chosen. I don't know. Interesting. Let me know. I know you guys play Yakuza. You're going to tell me. Every question you can imagine a newbie to have, just fill it in. Go ahead. Don't spoil anything. But, yeah, let me know. Thank you, Jacob and Christian and the other Yakuza fans. If you want to make a request, you could do so on Patreon or PayPal. Either are totally fine. If those are guaranteed ways I will check out your VGM request. If you do not want to wait in that gigantic waiting list of a thousand plus songs, yes, a thousand, more like 1300, there is the Platinum Trophy tier on Patreon, which is a limited slot and expedites your request to the top of the list. Hefty, hefty perk. And a big thank you to my supporters, Aiden, Justin, Kevin, Moon Knight, Rogue Monk, Solid Bullet 066, your average metalhead, Lord Daddy, and Sekai Nuaride. I always mess up your name if you're watching this. I'm so sorry. Your name is hard. But it's always going to be funny because I don't do bloopers. I just leave myself the way in here. Anyways, big thank you to them for being Platinum supporters. I appreciate it. Thank you to everyone else that you see here, my other Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. Thanks to you for watching. My name is Jesse. This has been the Auditorium. Have a fantastic morning, day, night, whatever. Peace.